Okay, I'm here outside Kinnick Stadium with Paul Connor of Wheaton, Illinois. Paul was a college teammate of Kirk Ferentz at the University of Connecticut. Paul, you were telling me about what it was like to be Kirk's teammate. What can you tell people about Kirk? I can tell you this about Kirk. Kirk was a very good player at UConn with us. Kirk was two years behind me, a sophomore when I was a senior. Kirk was a tremendous teammate, uh, along with being a good player, a great character guy, a guy you could always count on to be a loyal friend. Kirk is the same guy today as he was back then at UConn back in the 70s. I promise you, there's not a better person in college football today. There's not a better role model, a person I would have my own kid play for. One of the best people I've been associated with. I'm proud to call him a friend. I'm here today because he always gives me his tickets to be here at his last home game at Iowa. Go Hawks! <laughs> did, it, did it? One more thing, Paul. Did it? Did it surprise you? I mean, you, you knew him when he was in his 20s or his early 20s to see him running a major operation like this. Well, of course, we never talked about are we going to be a Big Ten head football coach when we were 20 years old at the frat house, but. I'm not surprised at all because he's always been a character guy. He was always the guy you could count on. He was a solid citizen. Just the guy you wanted to be associated with as a college person and a college football player. Thank you very much, Paul. You're so welcome.